<laughs> I am so excited right now, you guys. Squeal, squeal. I've got little buddies in here. So these are the habitats that I've made for our little buddies. You can see there's air holes in the top. Uh, I have a whole bunch more moss in here now after having watched a lot of Supreme Geckos videos. Great stuff, Wally. I have a few leaves in here. Most of these are what I transferred the springtails into. There's a whole bunch of springtails. I put a frozen cucumber slice in there uh, yesterday. It looks like it's defrosted now. I actually was able to forge some uh, paper bark off of a fallen quaking aspen tree that I found in the woods. Um, you know, sterilize that. I wasn't able to get any big chunks of bark farm, but I think they might like that. So we got some of those. We've got some twigs. I haven't put any leaves in yet because we want to see them go in. Um, I also have some larger twigs that I'm going to be putting in here. I thought it was really great uh, when you talked about, Wally, the um, uh, the calcium for the little dudes in the shell. Because that's actually why I use a seashell as a feed dish for my isopods. Is not so much that I'm concerned about the food getting in the substrate because I'm pretty confident that the springtails will take care of that. Um, but it's mostly because when the food's sitting on the seashell, I figure while they're eating at the food, uh, they might be scraping up some of that calcium shell as well. So that's actually why I use it, but I'm not going to be using a shell anymore because you had a really good point about the babies having to try really hard to get to the food and find it. And I don't want to be mean to babies. So yeah, we've got some stuff in there. I've got some pine cones for them also uh, that we're going to put in here. But uh, right now, um, I'm ready to get that box open and... Uh, See what's inside. I'm so stoked. I can't believe it. I got a new little bud. Oh, yeah. Let's show you the substrate. It's nice and thick also. The same recipe I made uh, with my other, my Armadillidium maculatum as well as the powder orange isopods. So they've got lots of stuff in there. And like I said, about three days ago, I put springtails in here. So it's been inoculated. It's, um, I don't know if you can see them, but I can see them. They're in there. So, yeah. Let's do this. Welcome back to the house of Beansy Weensy. Yes, we have a box. We, we have a box. I don't know if you can see that good, but if you look in the return address here, it says Supreme Gecko. Ah! <laughs> We've got ourselves some new little buddies. We ordered some, uh, I'm gonna cut this open while we chat. Uh, because they've been in route for a really long time and we want to get them out and check to make sure they're all okay. Um, I ordered some new little buddies from Wally and Nanette over at Supreme Gecko. Please go check their channel out. They are chock full of good information. Wally has a great sense of humor, he makes super fun videos. Um, he's actually been doing a series recently where he... Um, reviews other people's isopod setups and he's just reviewed mine recently so i have taken all of his advice into consideration and we got to talking about uh, me wanting a very particular kind of new little buddy and i noticed that he didn't have any in stock so i approached him about when they would be in stock and um he said he would send me some I am so excited and I can't even tell you. And not only did he send me some of the ones that I've really been wanting, but um, he sent me a couple gifts as well. We're going to put these napkins in the worm bin. Oh, that's right. We got some, um, oh yes, his Supreme Isopod Chow, all natural. Check that out. We got some of that to try. Um, I bet they're going to love it. I love that. It's a super fine powder. It is way more fine than I thought it was going to be. See, I was concerned about the calcium powder and something just fine because 
being new to the hobby, I was a little worried that the fine powders might get in their little armor cracks and up under their bellies and cause a problem, but apparently not. So I'm really excited to check this out. Um, directions, leaves and decaying wood should be your isopod's primary food, always. Supreme isopod chow, one time per week. Awesome. It's got all kinds of, oh, really good stuff in there. Check that out. We've got some rice bran. We got some cornmeal. Ooh, some seaweed meal, molasses, brewer's yeast, calcium, green pea flour, flaxseed, spirulina, cinnamon. Oh, that's fantastic. So because it's got cinnamon in it, it's actually going to be a huge turnoff for any other, like say, for example, if the bin were to get fungus gnats or any other critter were to find its way in, which it shouldn't because I sterilize all my stuff before bringing it in from outside. Um, but anyways, the cinnamon will turn them off of that. So that's awesome. Cinnamon's a great insect repellent. Oh, I'm so excited to try that. Everybody's going to love that so much. This is a 12 ounce bag. Uh, you can get on the SupremeGecko.com website. And do you see, do you see? <laughs> oh my God, I'm so excited right now. Okay, right here are the ones that I very specifically wanted. These ones are the Montenegros. The Montenegro isopods. I'll put the full official name. I'm gonna, hang on, I'm gonna pull this close so I can hold it, pop the top. I love the little container that they came in. Nice and safe, very sturdy. Oh, I don't want to upset them by opening their little home. Got some nice aeration popped on top. Damn, Wally. <laughs> I can't get this open. Oh, they're probably running from me too. There we go. Boom, boom. Those, my friends, are containers that they are not going to get out of. So... Let's take a peek in here. <laughs> Hello, my little lovelies. Oh, can we get up in there and see them? Where's my camera? There it is. Oh, do you see them? Aren't they so pretty? I keep to them towards me. Aren't they so pretty? Where's my, it's on that side or this side? Here, let's get up in here real close. Oh my goodness, aren't they pretty? Oh, hello, little buddies. Hello. Hello. Oopsie, fall over. <laughs> oh. So, yes, I purchased these. Um, oh, no, I messed my nail polish up. Opening up your container, Wally. That's awesome. Paint can be redone. These guys shouldn't be lost in the mail. Oh, aren't you guys so cute? Are you so cute? With their little polka dots. These are also called the clown isopods. Let's tap that, make sure we're nice and clear. Because I can kind of see my camera today. But because I'm right next to the plant table, I've got that overhead light on. And it's, um, yeah. Are they wrestling or breeding? <laughs> Maybe because I haven't put it at an angle. Oh, hello, my darlings. Hello, my darlings. Hello, my darlings. Oh, my goodness. You're so cute. Let's get them. A, um, no, let's put them aside. We're going to put them aside. I'm going to shut that all the way because. Dang, Wally. Oh, I got a dog wandering around in here. Okay, we're going to put those little boogaboos aside. We're going to finish opening up our, our goodies. Oh, <laughs> Oh, look at you. Look at you. Can you see them through there? Can you see them? Oh, we're going to open that up. I got a dude on his back in there. Hang on, I'm going to pull it tight to me so I don't shake them too terribly much. Pop in this lid. Oh, my goodness. You're on your back, buddy. Roll over. Almost. Almost. There you go, buddy. Oh, <laughs> look at them. Look at them. Oh, aren't you guys? Look at them burrowing in the dirt. They're climbing on each other. You're rolling over on your back, buddy. They do not want to be in there. They want to go into the dark, mom. Oh, you're rolling over on your back too, buddy. Hang on. Mama hip you. There you go, bub. Oh, and then I flipped you again. There you go, bub, buddy. Oh, look at you guys. Now, I'm not going to lie. 
um, out of the two gifts, I can't thank you enough, Wally, that uh, you sent me, by visual, unless I get them next to each other, I can't tell which one is which. So, I'm just going to say that the two gifts that uh, we got here, we got dairy cows and Dalmatians got sent to us. So, we're going to pop this closed real quick and take a peek at the other one. And see if we can... Oh, these are the dairy cows. I didn't see the little label on the front because... I'm an idiot. <laughs> These are the dairy cows. I wondered. I, I kind of thought they were. I didn't want to sound like an idiot calling them dairy cows if they were the Dalmatians, though, because they're nice and big and fluffy, and they move about like a herd of moose. Moo, moo, moo. Okay. Now, these are our Dalmatians. I don't see anybody on top, so they are about done being out. Wait a second. Let me pop this. All right. Get that open. Let's see what we can see here. Let's get our let's get our plant root chopstick here. Are we up in there? Let's give them a stir around. See if we can find them. <gasps> There's one. Hi, Papadi. Hi, Papadi. Hi, Papadi. They're in the corners. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Can we see them? Oh, hello, guys. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. You Dalmatian. I used to have Dalmatians when I was a kid. My mom was a breeder. That's the biggest reason why I wanted these. Anything called Dalmatian, I'm down with. Okay. Oh, they're in that corner too. Hello, Boogaboos. Awesome. Wally, wow. Well, holy cow. I just can't thank you enough. Let's get these guys, um, let's get these guys in their beds. Okay, so here we go with the Montenegro or the clowns isopods. We're gonna hang on, let's get a branch here. Maybe they'll want to climb out on the branch. Where are they? There we are. Oh hello little boogaboo. Oh hello little boogaboo. Oh, hello, little bookaboo. Isn't he cute? Oh, my God. I just can't stand him. He's so cute. Okay, guys. We're going to put you right there. How will put you on a leaf? Oh, what's that, buddy? That's a new house. Yes. You got janitors, too. Yeah. Let's take their little moss here. Put their moss over there. I'm going to slide that out right there. And this stuff, we're going to... Oh, we got some more moss there. Oh, look, there he is. There he is. He's in there checking stuff out. All right. Here's our chopstick. All right. Whoops. Let's go ahead and dump them in there. Very gently, very, very gently with their own soil because I have the utmost trust in the hygienicness and cleanliness and safety of the soil coming from Supreme Gecko. I have zero issues with that. We're going to sprinkle them around. I don't know if I'm out of frame here, but we're going to do the best we can by these guys. Hello, my darlings. Aren't you so cute? Try not to get it on their food. Oop, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Let's get some over here on this bark paper. Nobody else in there? Everybody clear? Awesome. Hello, guys. Hello. It's your new house. It's your new house. Jeez. Oh, so what we're going to do with each of these guys is we're going to, hey, you bugaboo, you checking out that moss? You checking out the moss? We're going to actually get a little bit of the Supreme Iso Isopod Chow powder, and we're got, like I said, we got a cucumber in there for him, but we're going to 
we're going to put some of that on there as well. Whoops. That's some fine powder. I think they'll like that. Well, I know they'll like it because that's how you came up with the recipe, hey, Molly? Awesome. All right. Oh, we one other thing we need to put in there for them is we want to put in some calcium. I, w I don't have the powder. Well, I, I do have the powder. I just didn't want to bust it out because I've got some eggshells that I ground up with my mortar and pestle. But I'm just going, oops, I'm flinging them everywhere. I'm just going to sprinkle these across the top here. These have been dried for a really long time, so I'm sure the babies will be able to break them apart really easy. We'll make them a little trough there that we can kind of eyeball. There's a little dude. Can you see him? He's over there trying to get out the air hole. It's hot glued, baby. You cannot, you're not that strong, man. You might be able to move some rocks around, but you're not moving that, bro. All right, make him a little trough. We, we can eyeball that. And then we are going to top them with leaves. And we've got a couple different kinds of leaves that we're going to put in there. Uh, those ones that you see right there that the spring shells came in, those are oak. But I've got some older catapa leaves here that I'm going to crinkle up and put in there. Because I've got some nicer ones for my uh, shrimp aquarium. So I've got plenty of these right now. You know, one of those things where you try different buyers. We're going to just completely submerge them in leaf. Um, we have some wet, I got them wet oak leaves. Let me top it up with a little moisture here. We got some oak leaves. Got some acorns in here, but I think I want to dry those, oops, a bit more. Okay, we're going to get some oak leaves in there, some catapa almond leaves. And then I've got these other leaves that I'm going to be putting in that I spent a few days harvesting, drying, blah, 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 sanitizing in my toaster oven, no less, because uh, my oven was blocked. <laughs> So I couldn't get to it, so I did it in a smaller thing. And I'm not sure exactly what kind of leaves these are. Um, I'll try to get some footage of you of a live tree outside. But it's actually, they are naturally deciduous trees and they do drop their leaves every year. However, um, this particular tree that I harvested leaves, leaves off of was actually taken out by a car and completely uprooted. And rather than try to save it or help it, um, my property just uprooted it and tossed it in the forest to die. And it's been there for several months and I've been watching these leaves die and, and dry out and I figured it'd be safe. But I'm not going to break them up, crumble them, just in case I don't see them eating on these if they don't like them. Um, we can pull them out easy rather than flakes. Awesome possum. Okay, I think that's as full as it's going to get until they settle their um, substrate a little bit. So there we go. Clowns are in. Let's put their lid on because we already have someone trying to get away. And there's enough moisture in there for right now. I'm not concerned that there's not enough moisture in there. And I will be checking these little boogaboos every day because that's what I do with my babies. <laughs> okay, let's get the other guys done. In this bin, I actually was able to find, you know, a couple of small pieces of bark that I cleaned up for their little hollows. Um, I don't, oh, you know what? I forgot to put twigs in with the clowns. We'll give them some twigs a little bit later on. Here, while we're thinking about it, let's give these guys some extra twigs. They'll like that. Yeah, we'll lay one down through their little hollow there. Let's get them some... I don't think there's enough room in here for their pine cones, but we have them. All right. Get them some feed up there. I don't know if they'll be that hungry, having come such a long way, but it'll be there for them in the springtails. All right, let's get these cows in because they're so numerous. 
Wally, thank you so much for the gift. Are you peekabooing? Are you peekabooing on the outside, buddy? Are you peekabooing? I see you peekabooing. Come here. Boodle-doodle-loop. <laughs> He's so cute! Here, we're going to put him on his moss. Look, buddy. I'm going to have to... Whoops, shoot. That's never good. What if these guys would just walk out? Think they'll just walk out? Are we in frame? Oop, one of them walked out. Oop. Roly polies. Roly polling out. <laughs> oh, Wally, thank you so much. These guys are so awesome. I'm going to help them a little bit. Boop. <laughs> They're so cute. All right, we're gonna we're gonna shake them down in here. Let them find their new home. Oh, look at how chubby they are. They're so cute. They're so cute. Ooh, that one was a, a base jumper. They're so cute. Moo. Moo! I had a pet cow when I was a kid, too. You know what I'm wondering? Perhaps. I wonder, what would happen if I put a couple worms in here with these guys, Wally? I mean, they live together out in the out in nature. I wouldn't want... You know, he'd be... Well, I don't know. He'd be creating some castings. Um, which I guess is good for these guys. All right, guys, it's time to go into your home, your new home. They're so eager to come out. That's awesome. Yeah, buddies. Yeah, buddies. Yeah, buddies. Let's put these guys over there. We're going to shake that out. Boom, boom, boom. And then a tap. Look at them. Look at them. Can you see them? They're so cute. I love you. 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 I love you and you and you. And you and you and you. Oh my god, they're so cute. I know for a lot of people, dairy cows and Dalmatians aren't that big of a deal. But not only am I new to the hobby... But, hey, buddy, you're all covered in goop. There we go. We'll brush you off. There we go. Um, You know, I think they're cute as heck. I love the patterns. I love colors. That's why I wanted the clowns, because they had such a, a crazy color to them. And we'll spread that out a little bit. Oops, someone's down there hauling around. Let's let him out. How are you moving down there, buddy? Hi! <laughs> Hi! Would you have a walk on you? Did you have a walk on you, piece of wood? Oh, look at you! <laughs> ah, they're so cute! They're so cute! I love them so much! Thank you so much, Wally. What a wonderful gift. All right, let's get the other guys in. Okay, last but not least, we've got the Dalmatians. I did actually put egg in the other one. We didn't see that, but after I stopped filling, I popped it back and went, Oh no, I forgot the eggs. <laughs> so we went ahead and put some leaves in here for them right now so we can get them topped up and in there. And this isn't an hour long video. But um, I do want to take this moment to not only thank Wally for sending me, hello, little baby. Um, these wonderful, wonderful gifts, um, in addition to the purchase that I made. I don't think this counts as a sponsored video because it's just, I don't know, I don't know, does it? <laughs> um, it was un a bit of a surprise to me. So this was really super cool. I was very happy when Molly said that he was going to send me these additional ones that I was interested in. Like I said, I know they're not a big deal to a lot of people, but they are to me. I'm going to get some back here. Um, 
but I would really like it if you guys, if you have isopods, if you don't have isopods, if you've got uh, reptiles, geckos in particular, um, go check out Supreme Gecko. The uh, link to their channel will be in the description and most likely on a pinned comment as well by myself. Um, but it's a really fun channel. I think you should go check them out. Hi, little guys. They do not like being unburied, do they? Roll over. <gasps> Oh my god, that one had eggs on her belly. I saw that before she flipped in. Oh, I got a Pragers. All right, let's put some of these guys over here. She's Pragers. All right, there we go. Now let's sprinkle these guys in there. And I did put some, some wood in here also before. Take a peek. No one in there. Awesome possum. Oh my goodness. Aren't they so cute? Aren't you so cute? Hello, little Dalmason. Hello, little Dalmason. Here, let's settle their stuff a little bit for them. Oh yeah, buddy. I see them down in there poking about. You like that? I got those wet just for you guys. Yes, I did. They've been dry for a really long time. Months, actually. See, this one has a little piece of chunk of wood in there, too, that they can, until I can get my hands on some more. Which is, um, hey, buddy, don't hide. Um, a priority, getting them some concave wood. So there we go. We've got some new babies. I'm super excited. I am, I'm on cloud nine. The rest of my day, I don't know what, Terrible things would have to happen to undo this because this is pretty fantastic. Let's get them some more twigs in there. These are actually twigs that I've collected within the last... Oh, shoot. I just knocked a plant over. Within the last few months, actually, I use them as supports for my air plants. Since air plants naturally grow on trees, I like to put a piece of bark under them for when they do sprout roots. They have something to grip onto. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm going to have to stop the video because I'm just going to keep gushing and ooing and aahing. Let's get these guys covered in leaves. Thank you so much for watching the video. I can't tell you how much your support in watching my videos all the way to the end and subscribing and giving me those thumbs up, how important that is for the growth of my channel. And I cannot thank you guys enough. I never anticipated having this many subscribers as it is and the fact that you're interested in seeing what I'm interested in I think is doubly cool so thank you guys for watching go over to Supreme Je uh, Gecko check them out tell Wally and Nanette Beansy's uh, sent you over and um, enjoy the rest of your day guys because I certainly am I'm going to be sitting on these bad boys like a mother hen all day I'm going to be out here probably every 30 minutes peeking <laughs> Bye, guys. Take care. <laughs> Hi, Boo Goo Boo. Hi. Hello, my darling. I don't even think it's been 10 minutes since I put you in here and I'm peeking at you. I love you.